Welcome back to Parts and Service. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization module located inside his secondary throat pipe. To access the throat pipe, both eyes must first be removed. You must be as precise as possible when removing the eyes from their respective sockets. First, firmly grip Bonnie's left eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Great job! Deposit the left eye in the cleaning receptacle on your left. Well done! Now, firmly grip Bonnie's right eye and carefully remove it from its socket. Deposit the right eye in the cleaning receptacle on your right. Good job! To open Bonnie's faceplate, carefully press the two buttons located on either side of Bonnie's jaw. When done correctly, you should hear two small clicks. Well done. You now have access to Bonnie's harmonization module. Press the blinking button inside Bonnie's secondary throat pipe to enter calibration mode. Something is not right. One of those notes is out of tune. You may push the button again to replay the audio check. Press the colored button that corresponds to the incorrect note. Press the blinking button again to verify your work. Great job! Bonnie is in tune and ready for his solo. Let's close him up. Simply replace both eyes in the same order that you removed them, then close up the faceplate and we'll call it a day. Well done. That concludes your parts and services task. See you next time. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done! Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. Good job! It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it from Freddy's chest cavity before the safety latch descends. Carefully place the music box on the work table to your left. 
Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no! You seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. We went to great lengths to create an authentic VR experience, including using scanned photographs for reference and using original performance routines where applicable. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before inserting the control fuse. Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest 
and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Fix both fuses to continue. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. Are you having fun yet? That's great to hear.